Hey y'all, it's Yeezy and Philip. I'm live on Facebook. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. All the fields we go, laughing all the way. Oh, don't stop showing everybody on Facebook your body. He does this every time we go live. So, let's talk about two songs that I've released um, yesterday. Um, Jingle Bells and um, the Evil Wings of Love gospel version. Um, what does this mean? First of all, I have an album called The Book of Slade, which um, I released in August. Um, and you, I, you guys have all been streaming that. I get the royalty statements, so I know it's one of my most popular works, so that's great. Um, when I was doing, one song's Jingle Bells, the other song is the Evil Wings of Love gospel version. Why did I do that? The Evil Wings of Love already was an emotional song, already kind of got beneath the skin, I thought, what if I remix it? You know, sometimes as an artist, you're like, hey, maybe I could do a little bit like this, a little bit like that. Um, and I'm like, you know, was there anything I might change? Da, 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 da. You always think that as an artist. Um, and I think nothing's going to top the original version, but I could take it above and beyond. So I did that with... Um, the gospel version. I put choir into the gospel version. So you, it really does hit you. Hello. I am encouraging you to listen to Jingle Bells on SoundCloud and the Evil Wings of Love um, gospel version. But I'm talking about how I put them together. It's not showing me who is watching right now, but that's cool. Um, so I'm like, we can take the evil wings of love up higher. We can make a whole, you know, some, you know, in gospel and in um, orchestral music, you, you know, it can be big and then it could be bigger. You go to a point where it's like, you're like, okay, you go high and higher and higher and higher. So, you know, there's no end to being able to take something from, you know, 10 to 11 to 12. So that's what I did with the gospel version. So please, please, please go check it out and get back to me, tell me what you think. Um, they're only available now on SoundCloud, such so Jingle Bells, going into the holiday season. Um, and that is based on jazz drums. Um, my cat's going crazy right now. That's based on jazz drums. Um, bass um sort of trap inspired vocals i'm already having people it went it trended and it's still probably trending on um ig yesterday on instagram so that's great so you know what's different now as an artist as opposed to a couple of years ago is that <clears throat> you know it used to be you put something out and you know, you hit up blogs, you hit up this one, you hit up that one, and there was a way to do it. Now that's all out the water, I swear to you. Like, it's not a compliant situation right now. It's, it's very much like, I don't want to call it a dystopia, <laughs> but with 
just the whole atmosphere around music there it's very chaotic and it's very difficult to plan releases right now it's not like it used to be so i'm doing this i don't usually do lives <laughs> and i don't think a lot of people do these lives anymore but i i went and i tried to do the room but that thing is crazy because um i guess i did it on my laptop and i have mac and it says you can only use Chrome. I don't really use Chrome. And then I went to do it. And what I don't think the kinks are all out on the rooms. So I said, let me do it the old fashioned way. Let me just do it. Let me do, 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 do it. Um, go into an old fashioned live the way, the way, you know, pre pandemic. Um, so. The idea is really to go and stream Jingle Bells. I can't say it enough. You know, as an artist, how do you get the word out? I don't stop showing everybody your butt. As an artist, how do you get the word out to let people know, stream it, stream it, stream it? Um, it's not, I mean, yes, it does help me, but it really actually is for you. You now have, you know, think about the complaints people make about music. They make complaints like, you know, there isn't any good music. Okay, now we, I think we're working now. Hey, Gene, how's it going? I am encouraging people to stream my new Jingle Bells cover and um, the Evil Wings of Love gospel version. So that's what this live is about. Um, but what I was saying is, you know, people kind of complain about, well, you know, they don't like auto-tone music. They don't like this. They don't like that. How do you find the music that is going to fulfill your life and give you joy? So you have to, you know, reach out. You have to do, you know, um, um, step outside of the ordinary, which there aren't anymore. You know, a lot of times when I hear something new, I hear it come through the algorithm on Apple that's my Apple music. That's what I used to listen to. Um, and it's great, but a lot of, honestly, a lot of it's because I have listened to my own music and it connects me with people who are great musicians who are in my sphere. And a lot of them are Prince protégés, And I've mentioned that before. So, you know, I'm going to go back, please stream the evil wings of love gospel version, which I was, you know, I'm still dealing behind the scenes as far as, you know, blogs and people featuring it and like, um, what do you call it? Influencers. Cause I had a lot of influencers who did the original version. Now I have to work this version, you know, it's all hard work and it takes a lot of time, especially for an artist. Um, I had to take time out even to do this. So, you know, I just want to encourage everybody to listen to those songs, go to SoundCloud, show love and spread the word be a part of the noise brigade. <laughs> My noise army, people who like authentic music that is got melodies, soul, but edge, you know? Um, let me see. There are s songs that, uh, artists that are out now that are okay. But remember a lot of stuff that comes out is made to sell to large groups of people or to kids or to everything is so hyper sort of um this is not a word but i'm gonna use it commodified so everything is made to hit a certain so it's not really organic you know but my music listen anyone who's listened to my music knows that it's organic i have experience from mixing i mixed those two songs and I worked really hard at, hard at it. No one can mix my own songs like me. I've had people mix. And one thing you gain as an artist is the ability to uh, not just create the music, but to manifest it and know how to how it should be heard. And you make the mistakes, you make the errors, and even those mistakes and errors aren't really that drastic. But it takes you know the listener a little bit of patience to I let me say I've learned that when you listen to a song you cannot go by the first three seconds of never go by the first three seconds of a song you have to let the song 
give it work itself. You have to let the song work itself. Do not go by the first 30 seconds of the song. You literally have to, in order to know whether you like a song or not, you pretty much have to get three quarters all the way to the end of the song to know whether you like that song or not. So if you want to appreciate music, it takes really kind of stopping, slowing down and allowing the music to soothe you and to give you that experience you want from the musician and from the music. So once again, now Jingle Bells, I mentioned that, that it is jazz based, but noise, but my perception and what noise is to me, the Prince of Noise, is not standard noise. You know, it means edge. It means, you know, now it's so clean, pretty much since American Idol and Glee, music has become really, and auto-tune music has become very cleansed. It's not even the auto-tune, it's just, it used to be like back in the early 2000s that an artist would release, you know, music and raw versions of the music. You know, I don't really want to mention the Smashing Pumpkins, but I'm going to mention them. Um, you know, they had, I used to listen to, what is it? Speed Kills. I don't know. These groups released so much music and it wasn't even mixed. It wasn't even mastered. So you heard from Nine Inch Nails or whoever you were listening to this very organic music. Organic, excuse me, music. These days you don't really hear that. So um, while I can't change that, I was even talking to Jim the other day and I was mentioning how I think auto-tune has changed the way singers sing and even I sing. I, I've always sung on key. But now it's kind of like I find myself singing on key. Like I almost sound like I'm auto-tuned when I'm singing. And I think a lot of singers do that. So I try to, there's nothing you can do. You're influenced by the time. And you should allow yourself to be influenced by the time. But you should always understand what's going on. There are some people that won't get on the stage without auto-tuning the live performance. You know, and auto Auto-tune can only do so much. You know, there's a lot of stuff that basically sounds like squeaky, squeaky, auto-tune. Yeah. Hey, that's what you do, that's what you do. I'm not gonna judge you, but there should be the balance of, you know, authentic yet, you know, good music. So please listen to Jingle Bell. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. All was is to ride on a one horse open sleigh. Oh, jingle bells, jingle, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Listen now on SoundCloud and it will make your day. Did that on the spot. Um, listen to the Evil Wings of Love gospel version with the choir. I mean, it does take you up there. It takes you to the mothership. Um, and listen to The Book of Slave, now available on every streaming platform. Um, my glasses are crooked. So it's Yuzima, Philip, live. Join me on Twitter because I'm doing a lot on Twitter. You know, join the Noise Brigade. Be a part of something. I mean, we're dealing also with politics, you know, but art needs you, musicians need you. And like I said, I have two songs out. They just came out yesterday. <laughs> Go stream them on SoundCloud. The links are on my page. Thank you. Bye-bye. Peace.